What's going on guys? So today I want to show you all how to create a custom theme or style, whatever you want to call it, for your uh, Notepad++. And it's very simple to do. You can download pre-made uh, themes and styles for them or you can use the defaults that they have. But here we have our Notepad++ uh, and we're going to go to Settings, Style Configurator. Uh, we can click on any of these to change it depending on uh, the coding that we want to use. We're going to go to global styles and we can come up here to select theme and we can go into whatever theme we want. Like here's Hello Kitty. So whenever you type it's going to be you know, different colors. Um, but these aren't really me. So let's go to default and I want to create a matrix theme just uh you know kind of the programming icon colors so black and lime green so we're going to uh, global styles uh default style foreground is going to be um lime green we'll try that one background is going to be black and you're going to notice that's white well we don't want white we're going to want black so we need to come down to current line background change that background to black we'll change the foreground to green and as we type there we go we are nice uh, black and green um, combination and that'll work perfect and you can tweak it and play with it and do whatever you want just to make it pop for you Wow, the keys are off. I'm not used to not having my keyboard here. But that's how you would uh, change the theme, and then you can save it, close. You can change the highlight, so wherever you highlight, you can go back in there. and So like selected text, change that to, we'll say pink. There it goes, it's in pink. Uh, foreground, we'll just do lime green. We can change the red and we'll do yellow. So it changes everything to what you want. It's pretty simple. So you got edge colors, you got folds, you got marks, you got tags, active tab uh, text, inactive, URL hover. Uh, you can change a lot of stuff. And also you can come in here and change different, different, uh, so pop-up windows and things like that depending on what you're coding in there's there's a ton of features in here that's why a theme is uh, like a fully edited theme they can download and just put it into your program files it's pretty handy to have but if you want to make one real quick and you're just going to use it for uh, HTML or uh, C++ whatever so we can go like the HTML tab and we can change it for numbers and tags and attributes um, so like uh, so see our body is right here it's just gonna, you can change all those colors uh, numbers pretty much anything that you want to change you can change in here you just gotta find it like entities values uh, attributes tags tag in uh, single string double string numbers comments Pretty much anything that you want to do, you can change. You can add it in. You can change it to bold. You can change it to whatever. Um, well, I need to go back to uh, cancel default. Change that to bold. Change that font. So we can change it to uh, terminal. So here's a terminal font. We can change it to script. Uh, that's terrible. Um, so whichever one you really prefer to make it look however you want so thanks for watching this video guys I know it's not a, a very long video or very in-depth video but if you're using notepad plus plus you just need the basics and you should be able to figure it out that's the thing about the programming community is when you start programming it's all about solving a problem so I gave you the basics so like 
learning uh, uh, HTML where you have opening and closing headers um, and body you know the basics you just gotta figure out how to add the colors add the text add the boxes add images things like that so now you know how to just get into the settings go to the style you know you know it's self-explanatory um, it's kind of like having an index beside you where you can just you don't know exactly what the line of code is or what um, what you need to add but you have an idea so you start typing away and trying to figure it out it's like a dictionary um, so we come over here um, bookmark margin all right we want to change that or edge color I don't like the edge color or um, you know whatever it may be so you got the basics now guys let's let's see what you can create uh, if you want um, we'll go ahead and um, put a, a hashtag up a hashtag notepad, notepad uh, plus plus on Instagram and I'll be checking it out see what um, what kind of ideas and themes y'all have came up with uh, leave a comment below if you did I'll check it out and you can also tag me on um, Instagram if you would like so see y'all later hope this video helped subscribe for more